That's Pastor Richard here. You know, I want to talk to everybody about something that we have all gone through or something that we will go through sometime in our life. And that is the death of a loved one. Whether it be a family member or a friend, we have all either have lost someone or we will lose someone. And folks, it's a, it's a sad thing and it's a joyful thing. You know, and a lot of a lot of people don't know how to take it. You know, a part of us wants to cry because we are sad that we have lost someone. And at the same time, we want to rejoice because heaven just gained an amazing person. Amen. I really believe that one of the hardest reasons death is, is so hard on people is because it's not natural. God did not create us to die. After Adam had sinned, then death came to all of mankind. But that was not God's intentions when he created us. We were not created to die. So it's a very unnatural thing for us to die. And when something is unnatural, it brings sadness. It's okay to grieve over someone you have lost. It's okay. That's natural. It's okay to be happy because you know that person is no longer suffering or that person is no longer in a disgusting world that this has turned into. It's a joyful time to know that they are in heaven with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. They are holding him. He is holding them. They are looking at him face to face. And that should be a joyful thing for all of us to think about when we think about our loved ones who have passed on. If you have family members or friends that don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, I urge you, I urge you to be the voice of Christ to them. Lead them to the Savior. Lead them to the living water so that they can have salvation. So that way, when their time comes, we won't be grieving because we don't know where their soul has spent eternity. We'll be grieving just because we, we can't speak to someone on a regular basis, but yet we're also rejoicing because we know they are in heaven. Let us not lose our brothers and sisters because we were nervous, we were embarrassed, we were scared. We just didn't have the right time to talk to someone about Jesus and his salvation. Even if it is on their deathbed and you don't know for sure if that person is saved, ask them if they know the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Ask them. And if they don't, lead them to him. Show them Jesus Christ. Show them salvation. Show them grace and mercy. Show them there is hope. Death is unnatural. It is a sad thing. But what doesn't have to be a sad thing is knowing where our friends and loved ones will spend eternity. And knowing that someday we will see them again. I pray you all have a very blessed week. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so. Keep spreading the gospel of Jesus.